Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Sign in from Ben 10. Chapter 16. Although it can be heard, the tone of the four-handed bully is indeed very sincere, and there is no sarcasm at all. But Dr. Dongwu can still feel the, full ridicule, of the four-handed overlord to him. It's not enough to say that he is required to create a few more variable creatures. This four-handed bully is too insulting. Why did Xiao Chen say this to stimulate this Dr. Dong Wu? Looking at Dr. Dong Wu, whose face was ashen, Mark also had a bad premonition, and he looked at the four-handed bully in a puzzled way. The four-handed overlord looked at Dr. Dong Wu helplessly, and sighed, I just want to get more sign in rewards. Forget it, you don't believe it. Kill him for me, I don't want him to live. Dr. Dong Wu roared angrily, his tone full of hostility. Shish. The huge black hamster and the huge golden bear, the two hamsters roared sharply together, opened their mouths, revealing their sharp teeth, and rushed towards the body of the four-handed overlord. They want to throw the four-handed overlord directly, and then attack with their teeth. Be careful. Seeing this scene, Mark couldn't help breaking out in a cold sweat, extremely worried about Xiao Chen's safety. Exactly, let you try it, how powerful is my power now? The power in the four-handed overlord body could not be suppressed for a long time. His eyes were fixed, his forearms stretched out like super strong muscles shaped by steel, and the muscles of the whole body were condensed together. He didn't dare to release his full strength, otherwise he might destroy the entire super supermarket. When the muscle groups collide together, the super powerful forces collide with each other, instantly creating a huge energy that is unimaginable for human beings. Boom. In front of the four-handed overlord, an invisible shock wave was released, consisting of only the aftermath of the power, and it slammed into one of the golden bear hamsters fiercely. The giant golden-haired bear had a ferocious face, and did not even take the air-shaped shock wave into his eyes, rushing towards it without fear. Boom! The two collided, forming a huge impact. The shelves on all sides were instantly swayed by the rippling force, and tilted towards the back. The four-handed overlord hurriedly stretched out his four arms, spread them out completely, supported the shelves that were about to fall on all sides, and quickly pulled them back. The huge golden bear actually stopped its limbs and swayed left and right, as if drunk, and could not stand still. The whole head seems to be stunned by the shock wave. Quote dot 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 quote. When Dr. Dongwu saw this scene, his pupils shrank suddenly, his body involuntarily took two steps back, and his heart was filled with turbulent waves. Just a burst of power can beat his mutant creatures like this. The power of this four-handed monster is more terrifying than imagined. After the four-handed bully held the shelf, he looked down at the giant golden bear, and reached out to the giant golden bear with a single palm, grabbing its fur. Just like carrying a chicken, he picked up this huge golden bear. Boom. With the other hand of the four-handed overlord, he slapped the giant golden bear with a slap, causing the giant golden bear to tilt its head and roll its eyes. Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the white reward. The individual strength of the alien hero is strengthened, and the enhancement rate is 5%. Enhancing the four-handed overlord. The four-handed overlord said decisively without hesitation. Another small stream of heat poured into the body, and he could feel the surging power in his body increasing again. This feeling, in one word, is cool. The four-handed overlord, he threw the fainted giant golden bear to the ground on the side, and looked at the giant black hamster again with four eyes, his eyes were extremely cold. This frightened the huge black hamster, and some did not dare to move forward. No, I can't use it any longer, I have to run right away, these little brat's pets are no match for this freak. Dr. Dongwu was completely frightened when he saw this scene. Before he met the four-handed overlord, he had never imagined that there was a creature whose individual strength could be so powerful that it directly subverted his imagination. 36 strategies are the best way to go. Dr. Dongwu hurriedly twisted the gear, and the genetic variable device released an electric light, which landed in the pigeon cage. A parrot suddenly swelled and turned into a huge bird creature, as huge as the Dapung bird in the myth book. Go! Dr. Dongwu immediately jumped on the giant parrot, turned around and waved his hand towards the four-handed overlord. When my genetic variable device reaches the second stage, I will let the prehistoric creatures deal with you. Don't run! 
The four-handed overlord stretched out his arm and grabbed Dr. Dong Wu, but unfortunately, the huge pigeon flapped its wings, and gusts of wind spread, and it smashed the window and flew out in an instant, and soon became a small black spot in the sky. Let him escape. The four-handed overlord looked slightly unhappy. He looked at the huge black hamster in front of him and walked towards the last, prey. This huge black hamster was trembling, and when he saw the, red monster, coming, his body was about to cram. Don't be afraid, I'll let you fall asleep obediently. The four-handed overlord showed a kind smile, one hand gently placed on the huge black hamster, and the other hand stretched out two fingers, reach the face of the giant black hamster. Boom! A finger flicked magic, a finger flicked heavily, the strength of this finger is no longer suppressed, but a posture of going all out. Boom! That finger hit it firmly, as if the finger of the wild prisoner, it also stunned the remaining huge black hamster, rolled out more than 10 meters, and fell on the open space. All, solved. The alien hero that Xiao Chen transformed into is even scarier than their own clansmen. Mark muttered with a dull expression as he watched this scene. Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the white reward. The individual strength of the alien hero is strengthened, and the enhancement rate is 5%. Continue to strengthen the four-handed king. The four-handed overlord limbs, and even the whole body, can feel the faint rise in strength. Compared with the just transformed, it is already much stronger. Perhaps, it is not too bad for Dr. Dongwu to create ancient creatures. It can make him stronger and more confident against Mohas. That weirdo is finally gone. Mark wiped the sweat from his forehead and breathed a sigh of relief. Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen also came out of the corner and came directly to the four-handed overlord, looking at the tall and burly four-handed overlord. This was the first time they saw an alien hero face to face. To be honest, they were all a little intimidated. This alien hero has four hands, why don't you just call him the four-handed overlord? Tian Xiaoban learned the movement of punching, and enthusiastically helped the four-handed overlord with a name, which was exactly the same as in the original book. Four-handed overlord, a good name, I like it. Four-handed overlord showed a smile and nodded in agreement. Is there any alien hero with high IQ who looks like a big guy? Tian Xiaowen was curious. Maybe other heroes have it. The four-handed overlord showed a mysterious expression, pretending to be mysterious. At this time, the employees and security guards who were hiding in the corner all came out of the corner with grateful expressions on their faces. Especially the manager of this supermarket. He walked out of the office wearing a suit and came to the four-handed bully with a very grateful expression. Thank you, if it weren't for you just now, the supermarket would have suffered even more losses. It's all right, trivial. The four-handed overlord shrugged his shoulders and said easily. If you need anything, please feel free to ask it and let us repay you. The manager said very humbly. No. The four-handed overlord subconsciously wanted to refuse, but when he saw the violent sumo potato chips on the shelf next to him, he was stunned. Silent for a few seconds. He raised his finger, pointed to the furious sumo potato chips on the shelf, and pointed to Tian Xiaoban. I only have one small request, can I give a furious sumo gold card to this kid? Tian Xiaoban looked flattered and stared blankly at the four-handed bully, but he didn't react. I'm happy to help. The manager smiled and agreed without hesitation. After a while, several staff members took out the gold sumo card from the backstage and handed it to Tian Xiaoban. And the four-handed overlord, because of the time limit for his transformation, rushed to a corner and returned to his normal state. When coming back again, Xiao Chen is already a child. Thank you, Xiao Chen. Tian Xiaoban walked in front of Xiao Chen with a gold sumo card, with a moved face, this is really my best gift. It's okay, because we are friends. Xiao Chen showed a smile and answered as a matter of course. Yes, we are good friends. Tian Xiaoban squeezed the sumo card in his hand, raised his right arm to wrap Xiao Chen's shoulder, and said very seriously. I'm sorry, Xiaoban, I took your Omnitrix and gave you a sumo card to compensate you. Xiao Chen said inwardly. What's the matter with these children? What about the big man? As for the manager, there are several other staff members, looking at each other, not knowing why. The cashier has been smashed, how do we check out the things we bought? Mark reluctantly looked at the shopping cart that was pushed aside, which was full of good things. 
The manager looked very generous again, and waved his hand. It's okay, this old gentleman, you also stood up to help us just now, helping us beat that weirdo so badly, you can also get your things free of charge. Quote. Very good. Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen cheered at the same time. Mark looked embarrassed. Is this? Okay. No problem, said the manager. Wait a minute, I'll get another bag. Tian Xiaowen seemed to have seen something, and took a large bag of parrot feed from the front shelf. This is no problem. After all, the manager didn't care about a bag of feed. Xiao Wen, what are you doing with this? Xiao Chen came to Tian Xiao Wen curiously and asked. Tian Xiao Wen winked at him, with a mysterious look on his face. Well, then you will know. This trip has been rewarding. After a busy 10 to 20 minutes, the four men packed up everything and returned to the old car. As soon as Mark got in the car, he fastened his seat belt and put his hands on the steering wheel. Tian Xiao Wen and Xiao Chen had already expected expressions. They looked at each other and understood what Grandpa Mark meant. We still have to track Dong Wu, we can't let him continue to create dangerous creatures to destroy the city. Mark said in a serious voice. But, Xiao Chen looked out the window and saw no trace of Dr. Dong Wu, we don't know where he went. He seems to have said that he wants to get some ancient creatures to deal with you. Tian Xiaoban vaguely remembered what Dr. Dongwu said and reminded him. Ancient creatures. Xiao Chen was moved and asked, who have you brought a laptop? I want to see the map of this city. I have a notebook here. Tian Xiaowen came to his suitcase, took out the laptop inside, put it on the table, plugged it in, and turned on the laptop. She opened the map first. At present, Everyone is in the city of Washington. Suso again, the paleontology museum in Washington. Tian Xiaowen muttered something, tapping his fingers on the keyboard, spelling out the paleontology museum. Soon, a red dot appeared on the map, which was the only paleontology museum in Washington. Xiao Wen, zoom in on each intersection on the map. Xiao Chen said aside. Tian Xiaowen connected another mouse holding the mouse in his right hand, zooming the entire map. Xiao Chen memorized the fastest route, looked up at Mark, and described the route completely. Okay, I'll drive over here. Mark remembered the route firmly, put the soles of his feet on the accelerator, and stepped on the accelerator to drive towards the Museum of Paleontology. Otherwise, let's check it out, Dong Wu. Tian Xiao Wen closed the map page and typed the name of Dr. Dong Wu on the search engine. A page about Dr. Dong Wu quickly popped up. Drive Dong Wu, male, used to be a PhD in biology. He once participated in the Truth Award. He went crazy because he didn't win the prize for his research. Xiao Chen murmured while looking at the introduction. His eyes flickered, and he said to Tian Xiao Wen again, Search again, when will the latest Truth Award be held? I know this, I have paid attention to it, and it is today. Tian Xiaotatu is a studious girl, so it is natural for this kind of thing to be at your fingertips. It seems that Dongwu released mutant creatures today not only to study his genetic variable device, but also to destroy the scene of the truth prize. Xiao Chen held his chin in his hand and came to a conclusion. It's okay, you can definitely stop him. Tian Xiao Wen looked at Xiao Chen with a little girl's admiration. Well, I have a question, I want to interrupt you. Tian Xiaoban raised his hand, his face full of curiosity, what is the truth award? The truth prize, which is second only to the Nobel Prize, is an award that many scientists dream of. Xiao Chen said patiently. Dude, you need to read more books, you don't even know about the truth prize, Tian Xiaowen said again habitually to Tian Xiaoban. Cut, I'm not a nerd. Tian Xiaoban stuck out his tongue and patted Xiao Chen on the shoulder, of course, I'm not referring to you. Xiao Chen, only Xiao Wen is a nerd. The bickering between the two made Xiao Chen laugh or cry, he was used to this kind of atmosphere. Biu Biu. The Omnitrix alert sound came from Xiao Chen's wrist. The red Omnitrix in the cooling state has now turned into a green state with sufficient energy. It also gave him enough confidence. After a few people chatted without a word, the sky quickly became dark, and the old car also arrived at the entrance of the huge paleontology museum. When the four of them got off the bus, the surroundings were very strange, because such a big museum was silent, without a security guard, staff, and the door was open. It looks so scary. 
Tian Xiaowen shrank his neck, and his face naturally showed a hint of fear. Otherwise, you and Xiaoban will stay here, and Grandpa and I will go to the museum. Xiao Chen turned to look at the two with a serious face. The ancient creature is no joke, he is worried that the battle between himself and the ancient creature will affect the innocent too. Xiao Chen is right. Mark also nodded, he was more worried about Xiaoban and Xiao Wen than the prudent Xiao Chen. How could that be, Grandpa, I'm not afraid. Tian Xiaoban clenched his fists and looked strong. Tian Xiao Wen was carrying a plastic bag in his hand, with a large bag of things in the bag, I'm not leaving, I still have to help you. Grandpa, let's take them with me. I know Xiaoban and Xiao Wen very well. Even if we refuse, they will secretly follow. It's better to follow directly. It's safer. Xiao Chen didn't say much after seeing the affirmation of the two, but turned to persuade Mark. Okay, let's go. Mark shook his head helplessly and walked to the front. Xiao Chen followed behind, then Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiao Wen. When they came to the door of the museum and walked in. The whole hall was pitch black, and the surroundings could not be seen clearly. Only when you were close, you could see the huge dinosaur skeleton next to it. Here, it's pretty quiet. The light footsteps of several people seemed very loud. Tian Xiao Wen stretched out his hand subconsciously, grabbed one of Xiao Chen's arms, and followed behind, the bag was hanging on her shoulders. When the danger comes, run farther. Xiao Chen gave Tian Xiao Wen a comforting look and whispered. Tian Xiao Wen nodded meekly, looking left and right. This paleontology museum is really weird. It stands to reason that Dr. Dong Wu should have come here earlier, why is there no movement at all? Something's wrong, here, could it be an ambush? When walking to the center of the hall, Xiao Chen secretly screamed in his heart, stopped, and pulled the corner of Lamarck's shirt, trying to persuade everyone to go back to the door first. At this time, too late, wow, the lights in the hall suddenly turned on, and the light shone throughout the hall. The sudden light made Xiao Chen's eyeballs a little uncomfortable, and his eyes narrowed slightly, which was really stimulated, but when he narrowed his eyes, he could vaguely see the huge parrot blocking the gate. And Dr. Dong Wu riding on it. You idiots, you dare to be my way, you are really courting death. Dr. Dong Wu took off his red sunglasses and showed a sinister smile. Boom, boom, from the gates on both sides, two triceratops, which are many times bigger than hamsters, rushed out. When they walked in, the whole hall was shaking. These two guys have been hiding there for a long time, just waiting for you to throw yourself in the net. That big red guy must know you too. I will catch you all. Dr. Dong Wu said confidently. The triceratops was bigger than a big truck, and there were three big horns on its head. They were supposed to be herbivores, but their eyes were as cold as poisonous snakes. They stared at Xiao Chen, Mark and others in the middle. Seeing the ancient creatures appear in front of them, their huge appearance really shocked Xiao Chen. Including Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban, the two of them were even more stunned. Facing such a huge creature, human beings have an instinctive fear. Get out of the way, I'll become a four-handed tyrant to deal with them. Xiao Chen took a deep breath, walked out of the team, raised his right wrist, and his left finger pressed the Omnitrix screen. The other three also understood and stepped back a little bit towards the wall, for fear of making the two big guys anxious. Huh, did this little devil come out to die? Ha ha, it's considered courageous, and it's not worth dying to die. Dr. Dong Wu mocked Xiao Chen with a mocking expression on his face. This is the fate of going against him. Boom. When Xiao Chen saw that the Omnitrix's screen was stuck in the pattern of the four-handed overlord, he patted the screen that had been opened with the palm of his hand, and pressed the screen down. Immediately, a dazzling green light appeared all over his body, like violent energy fluctuations. The one who rushed out of the light was a perfect combination of a giant and a strong man, who was three meters tall, a four-handed overlord. Become this. The four-handed overlord waved his powerful arms, his voice was as loud as a thunderbolt, and the whole person was extremely domineering. I can beat ten such dinosaurs. His undoubted domineering even overshadowed the prestige of the two Triceratops, like a real terrifying monster. Even two ancient creatures, Triceratops, their biological instincts can feel a great degree of threat on the four handed overlord. What? When Dr. Dongwu saw this scene with his own eyes, in a short time, 
He couldn't even believe his eyes, that four-handed freak was transformed by this human child. Oops, the identity was known by that weirdo. Mark stayed aside with a worried expression on his face. Tian Xiaowen is also somewhat aware of the seriousness of the problem. If the hero's identity is exposed, I am afraid it will not be good for Xiao Chen. Don't worry, I can handle it all. He can't get out. The four-handed overlord realized everyone's concerns, turned his head to look, and made a, rest assured, gesture with his palm. I understand, it's your watch that allows you to transform into this alien. Dr. Dongwu looked greedy, and he was also very smart, guessing the four-handed overlord transformation mechanism, you guys too, beat this guy down. Take his watch. Such a powerful high tech, be sure to grab it and study it. Roar. The Triceratops let out an earth-shattering roar, and the roar spread like a sound wave to every corner, causing the other dragon skeletons to tremble one after another. The four-handed overlord raised a finger, clasped his ears, looked bored, and yawned. A complete challenge to ancient creatures. Ding. Check in object detected, Triceratops with genetic variables. Subdue the Triceratops and complete the sign-in. Ding. Check in object detected, Triceratops with genetic variables. Subdue the Triceratops and complete the sign-in. As predicted, Dongwu came to give him an experience pack again. Even if it was a bunch of white rewards, it was really fragrant. Boom. A Triceratops couldn't hold back at first, and ran away on all fours, his head was slightly lowered, and the triangle was aimed at the body of the four-handed overlord. Huge body, on the ground, one foot, one big footprint. Seeing this scene, Mark, Tian Xiaowen, and Tian Xiaoban's hearts hung up, and they watched the battlefield intently. This is the most powerful creature ever on earth, a dinosaur. Four-handed bully, can you beat it? This is just the place where I can do my best activities and show my strength. The four-handed overlord took a deep breath, his chest slightly bulged, his forearms spread out, and his muscles bulged like a balloon, which was very shocking. Looking at the Triceratops getting closer and closer, his face was firm, and he didn't have any intention of flinching. Four-handed king, choose to go head-to-head -head with the dinosaurs. Boom. When the huge body of the Triceratops collided with the four-handed overlord, which was much smaller in comparison, a huge dust wind stirred up and swayed around. It was a slightly smaller figure. It was as motionless as Mount Tai, and did not retreat half a step because of the impact of the Triceratops. On the other hand, the Triceratops, when it hit the four-handed overlord, stopped immediately as if it hit a mountain. I thought how powerful dinosaurs were, but it turned out to be nothing more than that. A touch of confidence appeared on the face of the four-handed overlord. He thought that this dinosaur would be very powerful, but after the head-to-head -head encounter just now. That's it. As expected of a four-handed overlord, it's really amazing. Tian Xiaoban waved his fist, as if watching a movie, his whole body was boiling with enthusiasm. It should be Xiao Chen himself who is very powerful, so his alien heroes are very powerful. Tian Xiaowen looked like a little fangirl again looking at the four-handed bully with some admiration. Boom. The four arms of the four-handed overlord stretched out and hugged the triceratops head from four angles. Drink. With a low growl, he bent his waist back, and his four arms stretched upward while hugging the triceratops. Immediately, the huge triceratops was easily lifted by him, lifted above his head, and suspended in the sky. Boom. He was slapped by the four-handed overlord with one shoulder and threw it to the ground behind him. In an instant, the earth is torn apart by terrifying power. The triceratops was even more shattered, its head hit the ground, and its three horns were directly stuck on the ground. Throughout, less than half a minute, it's really a four-handed overlord. Dr. Dong Wu's back was chilled, and he stared at the scene in horror. At this moment, he fully understood what the overlord meant. Roar. Not to be outdone, the other Triceratops slammed into the position of the four-handed overlord. But this time, the four-handed bully will not choose to sit still, but will take the initiative to attack. He jumped slightly, and his body suddenly took off, jumping out a dozen distances, and fell to the back of the fallen Triceratops, right next to its tail. His forearms hugged the tail of the Triceratops and held on tightly. Wouldn't he be thinking of using dinosaurs as a big pendulum?
Dr. Dongwu had a bad premonition in his heart and looked at the scene in disbelief. The four-handed overlord stomped the soles of his feet, directly stepping out two big holes, and his legs were slightly bent to ensure that the lower plate was stable enough to hit the bottom plate. A pair of forearms began to exert force, and his body quickly rotated in place like a top. And that triceratops, because its tail was caught, directly vacated and rotated, revolving around the four-handed overlord. Boom boom boom. The strong wind alone was as terrifying as a tornado, and it blew away all the surrounding exhibits, the stalls, and even the floor was cracked and blown away. When the speed of the four-handed bully reached the limit, he suddenly stopped his body. In order to reverse the inertia, he stepped forward and landed on the ground. In an instant, the ground in front of him was cracked with huge cracks tens of meters long, like like an earthquake. And the triceratops in his hand was not treated so well, and was thrown out by him, like a mountain thrown out. Dinosaurs have actually become his weapons. Boom. The triceratops that flew out just hit the other triceratops that was running, and the two dinosaurs collided and fell heavily to the ground. At this moment, there is no sound. Dr. Dong Wu, Mark, they all open their mouths and stare with big eyes. No one would have imagined that the four-handed overlord would throw a triceratops away like a yo-yo. Could this strength be able to lift a mountain? Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the white reward. The individual strength of the alien hero is strengthened, and the enhancement rate is 5%. A prompt sounded, and the triceratops that was thrown out fainted on the spot. It's the same. When I turn into a four-handed bully in the future, the power enhancement will be strengthened to me by default. The four-handed tyrant said with an expressionless face. The strength began to rise slowly again, and it was much stronger than before, even, it was the same as the warrior of the race of the four-handed overlord. The other triceratops that was hit also fell to the ground, but after standing up slowly, shaking his head, he could still roar fiercely, but his pace was obviously much lighter. Call out. The four-handed overlord was unceremonious. With a kick of his feet, a big pit appeared in the place. Like a Hercules, he jumped into the sky and landed on the back of the Triceratops at once. Roar. The Triceratops felt the abnormality on his back, and hurriedly shook his body, shouting, trying to throw the four-handed overlord off his body. You can't learn to shut up if you don't give you a good beating. The four-handed overlord showed impatience on his face. The upper pair of hands grabbed the big horns on both sides of the Triceratops, as if grasping the steering wheel. Boom. With one blow of the hand hammer, the power was released without reservation, and with a deafening sound, it hit the back of the Triceratops. Moment. Countless bones on the back of the Triceratops were directly broken, and the skin was split apart by the shock, so that the whole body bent downwards, as if it had been deformed by a four-handed overlord. The mighty ancient creature dinosaur just now. After taking a punch, he threw himself on the ground like a wilted eggplant, screaming in pain. Boom, boom. The four-handed overlord released his hammer, punched and punched again, hitting the younger generation of the Triceratops, just like a parent teaching a child. That Triceratops was beaten to the ground and rolled back and forth, screaming in agony. It has been deeply embedded in modern society and has encountered a creature that is even more terrifying than a Tyrannosaur. Humanoid monster. Excruciating pain. It even made the eyes of the Triceratops shed tears, and was beaten and cried abruptly. This dinosaur is a bit miserable. The four-handed overlord is too scary. Tian Xiaoban, Tian Xiaowen, and Mark have completely abandoned the idea that dinosaurs are powerful. What are dinosaurs? Under Xiao Chen's alien hero. Dinosaurs are sheep. Triceratops, fundamentally, is not the opponent of this four-handed monster at all. Dr. Dongwu was confused, and the four-handed monster in his eyes turned into a four-handed monster directly. He hurriedly walked in front of the other two skeletons and began to quickly twist the gear mechanism in his chest, releasing the last bit of energy. The skeleton on the left. The name is Tyrannosaurus Rex. The skeleton on the right. Yes, Tyrannosaurus. Only the king of dinosaurs can deal with this four-eyed monster. Dr. Dongwu looked at the huge parrot beside him in despair, if I can't deal with it, I can only run away. The last time he was so aggrieved was when he couldn't get the truth prize. Here, 
The four-handed overlord is not going all out when he casually sets out a combination of punches. He beat the Triceratops to death, fell to the ground on his side, and passed out. This time, he was also given a 5% strength enhancement. Even this kind of dinosaur can't make me have a good time. The four-handed overlord looked bored. Are you kidding me, Xiao Chen hasn't tried his best yet. Mark saw this scene, he was surprised to find that the four-handed bully still did not go all out. Is it so outrageous just in the warm-up stage? Roar. This moment. Enough to make people tremble in the depths of their souls, and a roar resounding between the whole world appeared. The slack body of the four-handed overlord was a little tense for the first time, and his four eyes reflected the two huge figures in front of him. Finally, there is an opponent worthy of serious dealing. Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dr. Dongwu used his genetic variable to revive the once king of dinosaurs. The roars of the two dinosaurs were not comparable to those of the mere Triceratops. The gigantic parrot under Dr. Dongwu was so frightened that it squeaked strangely and flapped its wings constantly, wishing to escape immediately. Tian Xiaoban, Tian Xiaowen, and Mark, covering their ears, looked at the Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex in disbelief. This is the most powerful existence among the dinosaurs. You too, kill that four-eyed monster. After Dr. Dongwu patted the Tyrannosaurus's ankle, he fled to the far back of the pillar in a hurry. He was also very afraid of these two behemoths. This time, it's a four-handed tyrannical king to face the Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. The two auras collided invisibly, and it was the aura on both sides that was fighting invisibly. The four-handed overlord looked up at the two dinosaurs. His body seemed small, but the momentum behind him condensed an invisible giant beast. It was bigger than Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it had a sense of oppression. Ding. Sign in objects detected, Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex that have received genetic variables. At the same time, you can complete the sign in by fighting one against two. One against two. The four-handed overlord looked at the two dinosaurs with four eyes. With a slight kick of his feet, the whole figure seemed to be unrestricted by gravity, and he bounced towards the two dinosaurs. His transformation time is limited, and he must fight quickly. The two dinosaurs were stunned for a moment, obviously not expecting that someone would dare to challenge them, and immediately became furious. Tyrannosaurus Rex swung its tail as thick as a pillar, and slammed it heavily towards the flying four-handed overlord, like a big steel whip. Boom. The four-handed overlord had long expected, the upper pair of arms stretched out and grabbed the tail of the Tyrannosaurus Rex that was slapped over, and the body that was in the air did not move, and grabbed the tail of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The other pair of arms stabbed into the ground fiercely, and with a slight lift, a stone nearly 10 meters in size was lifted out. He was like throwing a small stone, holding the stone with one hand, and flicking it gently, the stone hit the Tyrannosaurus like a missile. Even the hard-skinned Tyrannosaurus was smashed and screamed in pain, immediately red eyes, opened the sharp teeth of that mouth, and rushed towards the four-handed overlord. Looking at the behavior of the four-handed overlord, Everyone was a little unexpected, because they did not expect that the four-handed overlord would choose to fight one against two directly. This kid's character is too bad, and it is destined to be what will happen to him. Dr. Dongwu clenched his hands and watched the battle with excitement. He was looking forward to the king of the dinosaur world. The most miserable one can be said to be the four-handed overlord, but he is in order to achieve the task. Fortunately. Ding. Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the green reward. Martial arts, Bajoku collapse. The reward this time was actually given directly to the Wuji in the four-handed overlord set of fictional novels, Baji collapse. The four-handed bully's eyes closed involuntarily, and a villain popped out of his mind. In his brain, the villain was in slow motion at first, and then he moved hundreds of times faster, showing countless boxing techniques one by one. After the four-handed overlord watched this in an instant, the villain actually enlarged infinitely and formed himself. Martial arts are instantly integrated. When he opened his eyes again, only a second had passed. Tyrannosaurus raised his head and clasped his claws tightly, like a meteorite hitting him, getting closer and closer to him, and only a dozen meters away. Then, take you an experiment with my baji collapse. The four-handed overlord suddenly let go of the Tyrannosaurus Rex's tail, 
his face condensed, and he walked towards the Tyrannosaurus. One arm was slightly bent, his fists were clenched and blue veins burst out, and even the outline of the muscles was enlarged a lot, as if suppressed terrible power. Oops. If the Tyrannosaurus hits this punch, the Tyrannosaurus can't bear it at all, and it will definitely be knocked back. Dr. Dongwu saw it, he knew very well that one-on-one, -on -one, the Tyrannosaurus had no chance of winning. However, when the four-handed overlord and the Tyrannosaurus are about to collide, the four-handed overlord threw a punch, and with the punch, the ground below cracked, a huge gully appeared in the ceiling of the sky, all the skeletons began to tremble, and the force shook to the point that the air was shaking. Even the hard body of the Tyrannosaurus can feel the huge whirlwind slapping heavily on his body. Boom! Until the earth-shattering punch of the four-handed overlord landed on the body of the Tyrannosaurus, a deafening voice sounded. Next moment, the huge body of the Tyrannosaurus took off on the spot, vomiting blood, like a ball, it took off more than 10 meters high, and flew out dozens of meters all the way. Boom! The Tyrannosaurus was knocked to the edge of a hundred meters away, and when it was about to smash the wall, it fell to the ground with a loud noise. Hoo hoo hoo! The four-handed overlord panted slightly, the muscles of the arm he swung out were a little sore, and his fists were a little weak. An all-out punch can shoot the Tyrannosaurus. Quote dot 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 quote. The red sunglasses on Dr. Dong Wu's face fell on the soles of his feet and shattered. He was stunned, looking at the four-handed bully like a ghost. How terrifying was that punch? Then, let's try my strength with you again. The four-handed overlord looked at the Tyrannosaurus Rex with a terrifying look on his face again. The Tyrannosaurus Rex shuddered and his eyes trembled slightly. Identity, completely upside down. In the past, it was the overlord of the blue star, and countless herbivores were lambs. Now, in front of this giant, it has become a complete prey. And is. A sandbag for the four-handed overlord to practice boxing. The four-handed overlord legs were slightly bent like a crossbow, and his entire body seemed to be shooting out cannonballs, piercing the air with a, bang, and smashed into the ground in front of the Tyrannosaurus Rex like a comet. The whole ground was smashed into a big hole in an instant. This time, he was full of firepower, waving his forearms at the same time, and his fists instantly formed a violent storm-like attack. Countless fist shadows covered the sky and the sky was like a net, covering the entire body of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Bang bang bang. The sound of the collision between fists and flesh continued to sound, and the heavy punches attacked the Tyrannosaurus Rex at an extremely fast speed, showing the physical fitness of the four-handed overlord to the fullest. The huge body of the Tyrannosaurus Rex was stumbled instantly, as if he had drunk too much, his expression gradually became painful, and his body was suddenly covered with bruises and blood. Until it made a scream. This Tyrannosaurus Rex is being beaten by a four-handed overlord. Your name also has an overlord, and mine also has an overlord in my name. Bibi, who is more brave? Four-handed overlord, so there is a little more fighting spirit. The Tyrannosaurus Rex looked at Dr. Dongwu with fearful eyes while screaming in pain like a bullied child. This, this Tyrannosaurus Rex, actually wants to escape. Dr. Dongwu was trembling with anger, his fists clenched tightly, he jumped on the back of the huge parrot, and was ready to escape at any time. Biu Biu. At this moment, Omnitrix's notification sound suddenly sounded, and the shape-changing device pattern on the four-handed overlord chest began to flicker. He hurriedly retracted his fist, and his face became worse. No time to waste. Eight extremes collapse. It is another punch that can be called destructive. The fist of the four-handed overlord gathers the lethality of a nuclear bomb and blasts to the chest of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Moment. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was bent like a small shrimp, with a pair of scarlet eyes bulging out. The original scream stopped abruptly. Like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, it was knocked out dozens of meters away, and it crashed to the ground in the distance, fainting, dead past. View. The four-handed overlord flashed a green light. When the light fades, Xiao Chen stood on the spot, raised his right arm, and aimed his right fist at the previous Tyrannosaurus Rex position, maintaining the posture of punching, panting slightly. The action of the eight extreme collapses seems to have been integrated into his human body. It turned back into a human. Dr. Dongwu was ecstatic when he saw this scene, and immediately got off the giant parrot. The transformation time is over. 
Xiao Chen looked at Dong Wu not far away with a solemn expression. What made his head the most was the big parrot. Even if it was not as good as a dinosaur, it was a very dangerous creature for humans. It seems that your transformation time is limited. Dr. Dong Wu patted the huge parrot on the back with a sinister expression, kill this kid for me and take the watch from him. Roar. The huge parrot spread its wings, raised its head and made a sharp cry, stepped out its feet like a rooster, and quickly walked towards Xiao Chen. I am in a human state, can I kill this guy with Baji Bang? Xiao Chen looked at the giant parrot as if he was facing a big enemy, and he didn't dare to breathe. Hey, big man, look here. At this time, Tian Xiao Wen's sweet voice sounded, she held a large bag of parrot feed in her hand, and shouted at the huge parrot. The giant parrot heard the voice from the side, stopped, turned his head and looked at Tian Xiao Wen fiercely. There is delicious food here. Tian Xiao Wen with a friendly smile, tore open the parrot feed, and poured out a pile of pelleted parrot feed on the ground. The eyes of the giant parrot lit up instantly. The ferocious light dimmed, and the foraging instinct came to mind. It walked to Tian Xiao Wen's side step by step. When Tian Xiao Wen saw the huge parrot walking in front of her, her body froze. She couldn't help but want to step back, but she was afraid of irritating the big parrot in front of her. But, the huge parrot bowed its head meekly and slowly ate the parrot feet on the ground. Tian Xiao Wen looked at the docile big parrot, carefully stretched out his jade hand, and touched the soft wings on the parrot's back. The parrot still had an expression of enjoyment on his face. Dr. Dong Wu sees here exploded you idiot what are you doing you must obey my orders dr dong wu shouted angrily gesturing with his fingers ha ha dong wu it seems that you often squeeze these mutant creatures and you don't even give them food no wonder you don't listen to you xiao chen looked at dr dong wu gloatingly and laughed stinky brat dr dong wu gritted his teeth and rushed towards xiao chen with anger in his eyes i'm enough to deal with you Xiao Chen deftly rolled to the side, just in time for Dr. Dong Wu to throw himself on the ground, throwing a dog and eating shit. This watch is mine. Dr. Dong Wu had a ferocious expression and a string of nosebleeds on his face. He raised his head and reached out to grab the Omnitrix in Xiao Chen's hand. Xiao Chen shrank his hands and escaped Dr. Dong Wu's pursuit again. Enough, Dong Wu, do you think Xiao Chen is the only one? Mark rushed over in time grabbed it with a big hand, and firmly suppressed Dr. Dong Wu, who was trying to get up, so strong that Dr. Dong Wu did not even have the strength to use the genetic variable device. Yeah, even an old man can beat me. Dr. Dong Wu was pinned to the ground, a burst of incompetence and fury. I notified the police just now that you are finished, Dr. Dong Wu. Tian Xiaoban stood aside and teased at Dr. Dong Wu. Fortunately, I have your help otherwise I would be really in danger today. Xiao Chen looked at the three with a look of relief, he was not fighting alone. If there is a chance in the future, maybe I can make some powerful weapons for Tian Xiaoban, or something like armor. Let go, let me go, I'm going to the site of the truth prize and prove that I'm the best scientist in the world. Dr. Dong Wu shouted one after another as if he had lost his mind. I'm sorry, Dong Wu, what awaits you is a prison sentence. After Xiao Chen comforted Dr. Dong Wu, he took off the genetic variable device on his head without hesitation, and threw the dangerous thing ruthlessly. When I got to the ground, I smashed the parts on it with one foot. No. Dr. Dong Wu stretched out his arms, grabbed weakly towards the destroyed genetic variable device, and let out a pig slaughtering cry. Triceratops in the distance, larger pigeons, Tyrannosaurus rex, and Tyrannosaurus rex, all began to shrink or become skeletons. Ever since Dong Wu launched a giant creature to attack the supermarket, and then used ancient creatures to set traps in an attempt to hurt Xiao Chen, including Xiao Ban and the others, he was destined to be punished accordingly. Wu, there was a sound of sirens in the distance. Okay, Grandpa, please hand him over to the police. Xiao Chen looked at Marco and pointed to the policeman who came from the door. What are you doing? This old gentleman, please let go of your hands. Several police officers rushed to Mark, but mistook Mark for a robber, and all of them were like enemies. Mark hurriedly raised his hands, and after some explanation, plus Dong Wu was already a particularly wanted criminal, he quickly cleared up the misunderstanding. What Dr. Dong Wu did was too bad. 
How did you manage to deal with those big monsters? A person next to him asked curiously while escorting Dr. Dong Wu. Mark proudly pointed to Tian Xiao Wen, Tian Xiao Ban, and Xiao Chen behind him, my grandchildren dealt with him. Ha ha, you are really joking. The other people were ridiculed, glanced at Xiao Chen and the others, and disapproved. You idiots, what he said is true. If you don't believe it, grab his hand, slap that watch, and he will turn into a monster with four arms. Even if Dr. Dong Wu was handcuffed, with a faceless face, he shouted. Hey, Dong Wu, we originally wanted to put you in a super prisoner prison, but now we're considering whether to put you in a mental hospital. Several escorts patted Dr. Dong Wu on the back and said rudely. Dr. Dong Wu suddenly looked like he was eating shit, his teeth were clenched tightly, and his resentful eyes kept looking at Xiao Chen before he left. Okay, it's time to send Dong Wu away, we should go too. Xiao Chen stretched lazily. Really, we planned to go fishing tonight, but the plans were disrupted. Let's go tomorrow. Mark sighed and walked to the location of the old broken car. Let's go, I believe you can't wait. I want to have dinner. Dinner. Xiao Chen twitched the corners of his mouth. Eating Grandpa Marco's dinner was countless times more terrifying than challenging Frankenstein and Moha's. No. Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban followed Xiao Chen in despair, and only Xiao Chen dared to eat Grandpa's food. When it comes to old broken cars. While eating dinner, everyone turned on the TV and watched news programs. Tian Xiao Wen turned on the TV and tuned to the TV station that broadcasted the Truth Award ceremony live. He said with interest, I'm curious, who is the winner of the Truth Award this year? Sure enough, you are a nerd, watching such a boring show. Tian Xiao Ban picked up the remote control on the table and quickly changed the channel. Hey, stupid, don't grab it. Tian Xiao Wen stretched out his hands, just about to grab the remote control. Today's news broadcasts an alien incident. At this time, Tian Xiaoban, who was fast-handed, had already changed the channel and just stayed on the news program. He was immediately attracted to the news. Tian Xiaowen didn't care about the Truth Award, she stared at the TV, paying special attention to Xiao Chen's affairs. It's actually my news. Could it be that the identity has been discovered? There was something wrong in Xiao Chen's heart, watching the TV closely. However, whether it is a supermarket or a museum, the monitoring range is not enough, but the picture of the four-handed overlord showing his mighty power was captured, and the picture was very, very blurred. Then the screen turned back to the screen of ordinary people being interviewed. I ran into a guy this morning who was on fire, and I bet he's a UFO alien. I met a man covered in diamonds yesterday. Those people, without exception, were all people who were saved by Xiao Chen. Their faces were filled with admiration, and their eyes were full of longing. They couldn't wait to see the hero in their hearts again, and they became fans of Xiao Chen. Although many people are in front of the TV, they will be dismissive when they see the picture of them being interviewed. But these rescued people knew very well in their hearts that they all became fans of Xiao Chen. To be precise, it is the flame man, the four-handed king and their iron powder. Xiao Chen, I didn't expect you to be famous on TV. Tian Xiaowen said enviously. Tian Xiaoban said excitedly, if they knew that so many alien heroes are all Xiao Chen alone, they would definitely rush to interview Xiao Chen. Forget it, I prefer being a low-key hero to these illusory names. Xiao Chen shook his head and said indifferently. He doesn't care about that. Compared with these, he cares more about where to go fishing tomorrow. After asking his grandfather where he was fishing, Xiao Chen also borrowed Tian Xiaowen's laptop and searched casually. Okay, how is the first news? Is there a water monster in the lake at this fishing spot? There is definitely no such thing as a water monster, so don't worry. Tian Xiaowen, who was on the side, said with a smile when he saw the notebook screen. Well, I also think it's fake. Xiao Chen answered absentmindedly, keeping an eye in the dark. One day has passed since the incident of Dr. Dong Wu. The old broken car stayed beside a big lake. It is a holiday resort with beautiful scenery and sparsely populated. Early in the morning, Xiao Chen, who was still in sleep, felt his arms sway from side to side, as if being shaken by someone, and woke up from his sleep. His eyes narrowed slightly, looking at the blurred figure in front of him, he could vaguely distinguish that this was Tian Xiaoban. 
Xiao Chen, get up. Seeing Xiao Chen open his eyes, Tian Xiaoban quickly lowered his voice, Xiao Wen and I are waiting for you. Ha! Huh. Xiao Chen yawned lazily. He rubbed his eyes and asked inexplicably, the sun is coming out from the west, why did you guys get up so early today? Of course I'm going to swim. It's such a big lake here, the scenery is good, and it's fun. If grandpa was here, he wouldn't have allowed us to go into the water to play. Tian Xiaoban said eagerly. I. Xiao Chen hesitated, he had already passed the age of play. But he couldn't bear to see Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen's expectant expressions. Moreover, if you don't go, notifying your grandfather is equivalent to betraying the two of them. If you don't notify grandpa, what will happen to the two of them when they are in danger? Forget it, I'll go with you. Xiao Chen helplessly held his forehead, sighed, and crawled down from the top bunk. A faint smile appeared on Tian Xiaowen's face, and he was happy from the bottom of his heart, that's great. Xiao Chen took about two or three minutes to wash up, and then he and Xiaoban had some breakfast. Then he tiptoed and ran outside while Mark was not paying attention. Xiao Chen pushed open the car door, jumped to the ground, and the fresh air penetrated into his nostrils. Not only was the scenery beautiful here, but the air was also very fresh. It's beautiful. Tian Xiaowen then walked down, looking intoxicated. When Tian Xiaoban came down, he still brought a large bag with three people's swimsuits and trunks inside, which was quite comprehensive. Change your swimsuit first. Tian Xiaowen took out his swimsuit and walked into the woods beside him. Tian Xiaoban was more carefree and changed his swimsuit with Xiao Chen on the spot. After the two finished changing their swimsuits, they waited for a few more minutes before Tian Xiaowen who was wearing a swimsuit, came out. Let's go. Xiao Chen took the lead, walking at the front, and the two followed behind. When he came to the port, looking at the endless, calm lake water in front of him, he muttered in his heart, is there really a sea monster here? He was very curious. PFF. There is a sound from the side. Tian Xiaoban had already pulled off his swimming goggles and jumped into the water from the port. His whole body sank into the lake. After a second or two, his head popped out. Tian Xiaowen is relatively gentle, and takes his time to take care of the groundwater. Xiao Chen, aren't you afraid of water, are you still not getting down? Tian Xiaoban soaked in the water and deliberately used aggressive tactics. Okay, I'll come down here. Xiao Chen saw through Tian Xiaoban's thoughts, but he didn't break it. He sat on the port and slid into the water. It's summer now and it's hot. His body was soaked in the cold lake water, which was very comfortable. PFF. Xiao Chen just stuck his head out of the water and wiped the water on his face with his palms. Whoa. Tian Xiaoban next to him gave a wicked smile, raised some water towards Xiao Chen, and sprinkled it on Xiao Chen's body. Okay, Xiaoban, this is boring, and I don't want to play this kind of childish game. Xiao Chen turned his head to the side with a speechless expression and complained. Tian Xiaoban poured water twice more. Then, whoa, whoa. As if a man's instinct was stimulated, Xiao Chen and Tian Xiaoban started this childish game, splashing water and swimming with each other. Even Tian Xiaowen laughed and joined the game between the two. It was not until the three of them got tired of playing that they all rested on the pillars under the port. Looking at the lake in the distance, Tian Xiaoban was fascinated. Xiao Chen, nerds, can you swim? Swim out dozens of meters in one breath. Yes, yes, but, Xiaoban, you'd better not do that, you'll get muscle cramps, and you'll be miserable. Xiao Chen patted Tian Xiaoban's shoulder and showed his arm muscles. He also exercises regularly, and he also has some lines and muscles on his body. Stupid, I think you can't even swim, you can only splash water on the spot. Tian Xiaowen snorted softly and said. What? Tian Xiaoban suddenly looked indignant, you look good. PFF. He sank into the water again, his limbs began to swing in the water, his head rhythmically surfaced to breathe, and he swam forward, breaststroke. Hey, Xiaoban. Seeing this scene, Xiao Chen shouted Tian Xiaoban's name behind him, and quietly put his hand on the Omnitrix. It's all my fault, I didn't expect him to take it seriously. Tian Xiaowen was full of self-blame, and it could be seen that she didn't mean it either. Xiaowen, it doesn't matter, I won't be in danger in the small class with me. 
Xiao Chen comforted Tian Xiao Wen, which made Tian Xiao Wen feel better. She looked up at Xiao Chen, and for the first time felt a sense of security. See, I succeeded. Twenty meters away, Tian Xiaoban surfaced, spread his arms and leaned on his legs to keep his buoyancy slightly swaying, with a proud look on his face. Xiao Ban, your swimming skills are better than mine. Xiao Chen gave a thumbs up and praised, now, let's see if you have the strength to come back. Of course you can. Tian Xiaoban was aroused by his competitive spirit. Just when he was about to sink to the bottom of the water, he suddenly felt waves and even turbulence coming from behind. The body is starting to get a little out of control. And Xiao Chen also glimpsed behind Tian Xiaoban. A huge black shadow approaching quickly. A word came out of his mind. Sea monster. Xiaoban, come back quickly. Xiao Chen was furious and shouted at Tian Xiaoban. Tian Xiaoban also looked frightened. He reacted and hurriedly swam towards Xiao Chen. Boom! The huge black shadow suddenly emerged from the water surface, and a large amount of water flow was thrown out. The sea monster was at least 10 meters long, and it was as terrifying as a plesiosaur. Its long body was suspended on the lake, and a pair of dark pupils looked at Xiao Chen, Tian Xiaoban and the others with malicious intent. I'm sure this guy, no, isn't it a monster created by Dr. Dong Wu? Tian Xiaowen muttered. The hostile gaze of the sea monster slowly landed on Tian Xiaoban, who was the closest to it and kept swimming towards the port. Danger. Liu. Xiao Chen hurriedly pressed the Omnitrix, and the screen quickly popped up. The first alien to appear was Blaze. Without thinking, he turned around and landed on the four-handed overlord. Ding. Signable objects detected. Sea monsters under the lake. Choose to transform into a big steel tooth, and you can complete the check-in. However, the sign in task made him hesitate a little bit. This time, it was clear that this task was to give big steel a chance to strengthen. Quote dot dot dot. Strengthen the big steel teeth. Xiao Chen made his decision in an instant, twisted the Omnitrix quickly, landed on the pattern of the big steel teeth, and photographed the Omnitrix with force. Boom. A burst of light came out. Originally wanted to bend over to attack Tian Xiaoban, the sea monster was caught by the green light from the port. The teeth of the big steel teeth will bite this sea monster away. With a hanging lamp on his head, a mouth of shark-like teeth, coupled with the strong body of the murloc, it is the big steel teeth. He opened his mouth of steel sharp teeth, and the deterrent force was very strong. Ding! Congratulations to the host for signing in successfully. Get the green reward, from the world of One Piece, Murloc Jinbei's Murloc Karate. Digongya's strength is not outstanding in the first place. With Murloc Karate, he can not only exert his physical fitness, but also cooperate with Gangya's advance, which is perfect. In less than a second, he learned all the tricks of Murloc Karate. And in front of the sea monster. Originally, Big Steel Tooth, who is only slightly threatening, suddenly became ferocious, causing him to roar vigilantly a few times, staring at Big Steel Tooth's body without moving. Xiao Ban, you swim slowly, I'll come beside you. Da Gangya also stared at the sea monster, shaking his fish tail, and swam out a dozen meters in the water, and swam to Tian Xiaoban's side. Let him stand in front of Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen and face the sea monster. The huge body of the sea monster, and the slender figure of Da Gangya. A stark contrast was formed. I am afraid that the sea monster can easily destroy the body of the big steel teeth. Why did Xiao Chen choose this alien? He doesn't look that powerful at all. The four-handed overlord should be chosen. Tian Xiao Wen's expression was full of worry, looking at the back of Da Gangya, he couldn't help but be a little suspicious. Roar. Watching Tian Xiaoban go away, the sea monster immediately became furious and roared, causing big steel tooth's ears to buzz. Hostile. Da Gangya's eyes froze, his right palm turned into a hand knife, and he fell on the water in front of him without hesitation, bursting out with an extremely powerful force. Hit the water. Boom. Countless water droplets are like bullets, scattered on the slender body of the sea monster like a snake, and sound one after another. The effect is not strong, but the sea monster is enraged. Its eyes were instantly murderous, it opened its sharp teeth, and it slammed into the big steel teeth and countless water droplets slid down its head along with it. Be careful, big steel teeth. It's over, the two of them are not the same proportions. 
Tian Xiaowen and Tian Xiaoban looked anxiously at the attack Da Gangya. They doubted whether Da Gangya's thin body would be knocked out directly. Don't underestimate me, big guy. Big Steel Tooth stared at the incoming sea monster without changing his expression. When he saw the latter getting closer, his right fist smashed out like lightning. Shawa is punching. A straight punch was full of terrifying strength, so that the surrounding water caused waves, and with his punch, it was lifted into the air. Boom. It just so happened that the big steel-toothed Shawa Junquan collided heavily with the head of the sea monster. The surrounding water directly set off a wave of waves. The slender figure of Da Gangya did not move at all, and with his superb skills, he released a terrifying power. There was a touch of human shock on the face of the sea monster. Its terrifying strength was actually blocked by the tiny fist of this creature in front of it. You know, sharks are its prey. Okay, it's amazing, does this murloc have any special tricks? I can't see it. Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen felt a little relieved when they saw that the situation had stabilized. Roar. The sea monster quickly recovered from the shock, retracted his head fiercely, and opened his teeth to bite the big steel teeth. Don't forget, my name is Big Steel Tooth. Teeth are my strongest. The big steel teeth also opened a mouth of steel nail-like teeth, and bit the teeth of the sea monster. At the same time, his arms retracted behind him, rolling up a stream of water, and the stream of liquid was actually like an entity. Ping. The sound of metal collision sounded, and the steel teeth exposed by the big steel teeth collided with the huge teeth of the sea monster, like a knife and axe colliding, a humming sound, and a little starlight flashed. Click. Half a second later, the steel teeth of the big steel teeth actually dented the inside of the huge teeth of the sea monster, biting out cracks, like countless steel nails, nailed into the teeth of the sea monster. If the teeth of the sea monster are terrible steel, then the teeth of the big steel teeth are countless weapons, dedicated to destroying everything. The sea monster's teeth didn't feel pain, but it could clearly feel that its teeth were cracked, and its expression became unbelievable, and even a little flustered. This feeling of being suppressed. It's been a long time since I felt it. Hypo gun. Big steel teeth had a fierce look on his face, his teeth clenched tightly against the big teeth of the sea monster, using it as a leverage point, his body swayed up and down, and he slammed it into the sky. His body rolled in a circle in the air, facing the sea monster, his arms formed fists, and he waved at the sea monster like thunder. Boom, boom, the water droplets that were originally wrapped around the arm actually condensed into two water guns, and stabbed fiercely towards the sea monster. Roar. There was anger in the eyes of the sea monster, and with a deep roar, it slammed the huge fish tail and slapped the slender sea wave gun. It's useless. Big Steel Fang's eyes were filled with cold light, he knew exactly what the power of this sea wave gun was. Roar. Next moment, the low roar of the sea monster resounded through the surrounding lake, and countless fish were alarmed and fled into the distance in a panic. I saw its huge fish tail, and at the moment when the hyper gun was photographed, the two hyper guns were not affected by its power at all, and split apart instantly, like countless knives sliding down. Its fish tail has a lot of scars directly. Success, success, that shark-toothed alien is amazing. Tian Xiaoban was dumbfounded. In his impression, shouldn't the sea monster be bigger and stronger? Big steel tooth is so much smaller, it stands to reason that he was beaten by a sea monster, but now it seems. Big steel tooth is slightly better. As I said, Xiao Chen's alien heroes are all very powerful. Tian Xiao Wen answered from the side. Boom. Layers of water splashed on the surface of the water, the big steel teeth flying in the air fell into the water, and the moment it sank to the bottom of the water, he flapped the fish tail to let his head out of the water, and looked at the sea monster not far away. After the sea monster was injured, instead of retreating, it was aroused with ferocity. A pair of dark eyes were full of violence, and the momentum became full of ferocity. It plunged into the lake water, and the water suddenly turbulent flow. Have to fight. Big Steel Tooth was not careless, he quickly dived into the water. Because his eyes are protected by eyelids, the eyes can be opened freely in the water, and the spotlight on his head allows him to see places within a few meters. The water is dark and quiet, and the surroundings can be seen clearly. This does not mean that the sea monster is gone, but a symptom. Signs of the storm coming. 
Big steel teeth didn't move, but slowly swayed the tail of the fish, and his eyes were full of alertness to inquire around. Bang bang bang. There was a burst of bubbles in front of him, some passed over Big Steel Fang's face, some smashed into his face, and then, a burst of undercurrent rushed towards him, causing his body to sway a little, fish the swing of the tail has also increased. Coming. Big Ganya's eyes solidified, and he stared straight ahead. In the dark lake water, a behemoth quickly rammed towards him. With the approach of the sea monster, the undercurrent also strengthened rapidly, almost making the big steel teeth unable to grasp the balance. You can't fight with strength, you have to use skill. Daganya clenched his fists with both hands, posing as a fishman karate. Roar. At this moment, the sea monster attacked from the front, with its head slightly lowered, and hit it with its forehead, at an extremely fast speed. Call out. In the nick of time, Big Steel Fang slammed his fish tail and swam up several meters along the undercurrent. The huge body of the sea monster swept past his previous position. If he was still there, he would be shattered. Escaped. But, it's not over yet. The huge body of the sea monster is its advantage and disadvantage. It can't hit the big steel teeth, and its body will maintain the action of frontal collision, and it is too late to turn around. Shawa is punching. The muscles of the right arm of the big steel teeth exploded, like a circle of iron blocks, the fist condensed all the strength of the body, crossed the water current, and slammed into the back of the sea monster with a loud, bang, like a big hammer. Roar. Another painful roar. The furious sea monster quickly disappeared, and then hit it head on again. Daganya has thoroughly figured out the attack routine of the sea monster. He uses all the tricks of murloc karate. When the sea monster is about to attack, he will use his body coordination to escape, and then. 7000 tile roundhouse kick. Tang grass tile is punching. 5000 tile positive fists. One shot after another, gorgeous and powerful punches and kicks, which greatly exerted the power of the big steel teeth, and each time they hit the sea monster fiercely. It can be said that the sea monster was beaten unilaterally. In just two or three minutes, the sea monster's body was already blue and purple, and it was no exaggeration to have bruises all over his body. The originally enraged sea monster also slammed his feet again and again, woke up, became more and more panic, and even collapsed. It has always been invincible, but today it was beaten up by the big steel teeth. It was in awe of this little murloc. Come again, I'll hit you again. Dagenya clenched his fists, panting slightly, and his condition was okay. When the sea monster collided for the last time, looking at the big steel teeth, his mood gradually collapsed, the wound on his body seemed to be aching, and it even shrank its body subconsciously. It hurts so much. Boom. Next moment. The sea monster forcibly twisted its body, and its center of gravity was unstable for a while, and it rushed out of the water and jumped deeper into the lake. Big Steel Tooth was stunned. If he guessed right. This sea monster was beaten away by himself. Originally. Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen, who were still worried about Da Gangya on the shore, were half heartbroken when they saw the sea monster rushing out of the water. Da Gangya, no, Xiao Chen, have you already been killed? There was so much movement underwater just now, one can imagine how amazing the power of the sea monster is. Wu. But the sea monster actually made a whimpering sound, which sounded like a whimper. The sun also illuminated its huge body at this moment. Everywhere, there are bluish-purple bumps caused by beatings, as if someone had been beaten violently. This, this sea monster, how could it be beaten like this? Tian Xiaoban was a little embarrassed when he saw the sea monster who was still arrogant just now become like this. Immediately afterwards, the sea monster fell into the lake, and disappeared from the lake in a flash, presumably fleeing to the depths of the lake. The sea monster, was it driven away by the alien hero transformed by Xiao Chen? It must be so, Tian Xiao Wen said with admiration, his little hands clenched involuntarily. Boom! Then came the big steel teeth who rushed out of the water. His face was still a little confused, and he scratched his cheeks, which were still stained with water droplets, I thought it was a fierce fight. I didn't expect this guy to look so big, but a glass heart, my mentality was shattered by me. It's so cool, that big guy was driven away by you. Tian Xiaoban looked at Da Gengya and waved at him, Xiao Chen, how are you? Me. All right. 
Big Steel Tooth shrugged his shoulders with a calm face, shook his fish tail, and swam to the shore quickly, grabbing the edge of the shore with both palms. Call out. With a slight effort, his entire body jumped out of the lake and landed on the ground. Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen both involuntarily looked at Da Gengya's body, trying to find some injuries, but they didn't expect that this guy was actually unscathed. Fighting with that kind of sea monster, can the big steel teeth retreat? Also beat it like that. This alien, I didn't expect it to be so powerful. Tian Xiaoban said with admiration, and Tian Xiaowen said next to him. It should be that the transformants themselves are very powerful, so the transformed aliens are all talented. So strong. It's not that exaggerated, but I just saw his flaws. Big Steel Teeth was quite modest, he showed a kind smile, of course, outsiders looked very scary. What on earth are your teeth made of? So strong. Tian Xiaoban stood up on his feet, his face full of curiosity, raised his head and hands, and patted the strong teeth of Big Steel Teeth. Da Gengya looked speechless, and replied lazily, I don't know, maybe it's stronger than steel. Xiao Ban, you are really boring too. Tian Xiao Wen was talking about Tian Xiao Ban, but he couldn't help walking behind Da Gengya, carefully observed the fish tail, and grabbed it with his hands. Biu Biu. Fortunately, it was time for Big Steel Tooth's transformation, and with a sound of sound, he changed from Big Steel Tooth back to human form. Okay. Don't look at it, I'm not a museum exhibit. Xiao Chen breathed a sigh of relief, looked at the two people in front of him and behind him, and said with black lines all over his head. And Tian Xiao Wen's ice cold little hand was still on his back, maintaining his previous movements. Ah, sorry. Tian Xiao Wen's face turned red, and he quickly retracted his palm. Let's talk to Grandpa about the sea monster. Xiao Chen said seriously, after all, this is a big deal. Will Grandpa believe it? And, will he teach us a lesson? Tian Xiaoban said later, his tone weakened. It doesn't matter, I'll say at that time, I'm going to take you out to play. In this way, Grandpa will not trouble you, but trouble me. Xiao Chen patted his chest and looked obliged. Xiao Chen, really? Of course, Xiaoban, don't worry, who made us good friends? Xiao Chen assured like Tian Xiaoban. Comma 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 comma. Xiao Ban, needless to say, it must be the two of you who came up with the idea, Xiao Chen just went out with you. I know your personalities too well, don't try to lie to grandpa. In the old broken car, Mark educated Tian Xiao Ban and Tian Xiao Wen with a serious face, Xiao Chen stood aside and winked at Tian Xiao Ban, indicating that he couldn't blame him. It's all my grandfather's idea. Grandpa, it's really not. Tian Xiao Ban defended weakly. I can't see your little tricks. Mark was angry and funny. Swimming in this strange lake without safety measures is very dangerous. In short, let's not take it as an example. Got it, Grandpa. When the two were being trained, they were in sync and answered in unison. Then Mark turned to look at Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen, you mean, there is a sea monster in this lake? Right. Xiao Chen nodded and said, that sea monster almost succeeded in attacking Xiaoban. Fortunately, I transformed quickly enough. If there are sea monsters in this lake, in my opinion, Xiao Ban and Xiao Wen don't need to go to today's fishing plan. Mark touched his chin carefully and looked at Tian Xiao Ban and Tian Xiao Wen. Ah, why, Grandpa? Tian Xiao Ban was puzzled and rushed to Mark. You guys are too dangerous on the boat, Xiao Chen and I want to find that sea monster so that it doesn't attack others. Mark said seriously. Grandpa, I think it's dangerous if the two of them stay on the shore. Xiao Chen poured out to help Xiao Ban and Xiao Wen to talk, and he calmly analyzed, first, the sea monster already has an impression of Xiao Ban, and it is not guaranteed to attack again. Second, it is possible to send robots to hunt down our people. Attack us again. So, staying on the shore is just as dangerous. Instead, stay by his side, he can transform into an alien hero at any time and defend everyone. Xiao Chen's words were very convincing, and it didn't take long for Mark to agree to Tian Xiao Wen and Tian Xiao Ban to go fishing together, but he made a point. The two of you must stay beside Xiao Chen at all times, and don't run around, otherwise, you won't be with you next time you go out to play. Mark's expression didn't mean the slightest joking, and it could be seen that he was serious this time. Grandpa, don't worry. Tian Xiao Ban vowed to pat his chest and answered decisively. 
Apart from that idiot, who likes to run around. Tian Xiaowen clasped his shoulders with his hands, and complained aside. You nerd. Tian Xiaoban glared at Tian Xiaowen fiercely, and Tian Xiaowen also called out, dumb head. Seeing that the two are going to have another battle, Xiao Chen quickly changed the subject and said, What time is it? It's time to go fishing, right? Time. Tian Xiao Wen looked at the time displayed on the laptop. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, Grandpa, what time is the fishing time? 8.20 in the morning. Let's pack up and go to the port. Mark said while packing the fishing gear. Tian Xiao Ban and the others were also more attentive because of the morning thing, and they rushed to help Grandpa organize the tools, of course, except for Xiao Chen. It's 20 past 8. With their own tools and backpacks, the four walked out of the old car and came to the port again. At this time, the port was no longer empty. Instead, there was a half-hundred old man wearing a red hat, gray hair, but in good spirits, standing in front of the port, looking out into the distance, and there was a ship moored on the lake. Is it Captain Xiao? Mark asked straight to the point, we are the guests who made an appointment for fishing today. Oh, you are Mr. Tian Mark. Captain Xiao turned around, with a lazy expression on his face, and answered lightly, you and some of your grandchildren get on the boat together. Wait a minute, there is something I need to tell you. Mark's expression suddenly became solemn, and his hand grabbed Captain Xiao's shoulder. What's the matter? Captain Xiao looked at Mark's serious look, cheered up a little, and asked with wide eyes. Under this lake, there is a sea monster. Mark emphasized word by word, I hope you don't go out fishing, just let me and my grandchildren go fishing, that's all. You also believe that there is a legend of sea monsters in this lake. Captain Xiao's eyes lit up, as if he had found a fellow man, and his voice suddenly became enthusiastic. I, like you, firmly believe that there are sea monsters in this lake, but there is no evidence. Quote dot dot dot. I'm not kidding, my grandson was here, and when he was swimming in the morning, he ran into a sea monster and came back and told me. The more Mark spoke, the weaker his tone became. He himself felt the story. What nonsense. Captain Xiao was taken aback for a moment, and then he laughed loudly. Ha ha ha, Mark, you are really joking, do you want to make this into a movie? Add some Hollywood special effects. It's true, I saw the sea monster with my own eyes, the teeth are so big. The body is like a dinosaur. Tian Xiaoban walked up to Captain Xiao and gestured with both hands. All right, all right, I understand, little boy. Let's get on the boat first. Captain Xiao replied perfunctorily, sitting directly in the driver's seat on the boat and beckoning to Mark and the others. Tian Xiaoban suddenly looked unhappy. Tian Xiaowen shook his head helplessly, I guess he didn't hear a word. Xiao Chen, please pay more attention when the time comes. Mark sighed, looked at Xiao Chen, and said earnestly. Don't worry, Grandpa. Let's get on the boat first. Xiao Chen readily agreed. He was the first to jump on the boat and sat on the wall chairs on either side of the boat. The others also got on board one by one. Along the way, Mark and Captain Xiao chatted. Xiao Chen and Tian Xiaoban and the others have been observing the surrounding lake. I have to say, it's beautiful here. It was foggy in the early morning, and the fog filled the lake surface, reflecting with the sparkling lake surface, like a fairyland on earth. But beneath this calm exterior, dark waves are surging. The boat drove for about 10 minutes and came to the center of the lake. The lake was very calm. Xiao Chen couldn't see any signs of the sea monster. It should be hurt by my beating, and I won't dare to come out for a while. Xiao Chen muttered to himself. Even so, his hand was always on the Omnitrix. At this time, the Omnitrix was fully charged and could be transformed at any time. Okay, now it's the center of the lake, and it's time to fish. At this time, the boat in the driving state gradually slowed down and stopped on the lake. Captain Xiao turned to Mark, Xiao Chen and others to say hello. Then let's go fishing. Mark turned his back to Captain Xiao, gave the three of them eyes, motioned to hold still, and handed the fishing rods to Xiao Chen, Tian Xiaoban and others one by one. How should this be used? I've never fished before. Tian Xiaowen held a fishing rod in his hand, and his expression was very curious. This, it's actually very simple. Xiao Chen held the fishing rod in his hand, faced forward, pulled the fishing line, and flicked the fishing line lightly. The hook fell into the water, with the bait already prepared on it. 
The sound of falling water seemed to break the silent water. Through the mist, there seems to be a huge silhouette looming in the distance. What's going on over there? Tian Xiaowen raised his head and looked suspiciously at the huge silhouette in the distance. Xiao Chen's eyes followed her fingers and saw a dark shadow in the distance, his expression suddenly became stern, he raised the Omnitrix on his wrist, and he had already pressed the transformation screen, and changed it to the big steel teeth. It's a sea monster, it must be. Tian Xiaoban yelled. Is it really a sea monster? Instead of being afraid, Captain Xiao showed a look of excitement and returned to the driver's seat eagerly. I'm going to sail over now, and I want to see with my own eyes what the sea monster looks like. Captain Xiao, this is very dangerous. Mark stood up from his position and tried his best to dissuade Captain Xiao, but Captain Xiao seemed to be inaudible and drove the boat towards the sea monster. Grandpa, it doesn't matter, I'm ready to transform. As long as I get close, I can deal with the sea monster. Xiao Chen put his hand on the Omnitrix, and his eyes flashed with suspicion. Also, I feel that this may not be some kind of sea monster. Quote. The sea monster will not surface so quietly, lying on the water as if asleep. And with the rapid approach of the boat, a gentle male voice also came from the sea monster. Please don't approach quickly, or our two ships will easily collide with each other. Well, the truth is out. As soon as the boat approached, I could clearly see the appearance of the behemoth, which was actually a large ship the size of a cruise ship. There were many people in uniforms of the same color standing on the big boat. Standing at the front was a sturdy man with a flat brown head and a brown beard, looking at Xiao Chen and the others with a smile. Is this a sea monster? Captain Xiao glanced at Tian Xiaoban unhappily, and grumbled and complained. Ha ha, I accidentally read it wrong. Tian Xiaoban patted his head and smiled to show embarrassment. Xiao Chen breathed a sigh of relief put down the hand that he had been raising, and relaxed a little. He walked to the front of the boat curiously and looked at Yonamel on the cruise ship, what are you doing here? Oh, introduce yourself, kid. Jonamel squatted down slightly and introduced himself very kindly. My name is Jonamel, I am a member of the Animal Protection Association, and others are like me. We are here to investigate the activities of fish creatures here. It turned out to be from the Animal Protection Association. Xiao Chen suddenly realized, there are many organizations in this country, such as the Nature Conservation Association, the Environmental Protection Association, and the Animal Protection Association. It is also one of the famous associations. It's just that this Yonamel makes him feel like he's not from the Animal Protection Association. I remember in the plot, he seems to have another identity. Xiao Chen frowned, he couldn't remember the details. All in all, this Yonamel was definitely hiding something. By the way, little ones, what's the matter with you guys? Why did the boat go so fast all of a sudden? I almost ran into it. At this moment, Jonamel's puzzled voice interrupted Xiao Chen's thinking. We, Xiao Chen showed a sincere expression, you may not believe it. Because of the fog, we couldn't see whether it was a ship or something from a distance, so we thought it was a sea monster. Sea monster. Yonamel was stunned for a moment, and then he laughed instantly as if he had heard some big joke. The others laughed too. Everyone seemed to be amused by Xiao Chen's innocent words, and the atmosphere was very happy. Why are these people so annoying? Tian Xiaoban and Tian Xiaowen both frowned, very upset. Forget it, I don't expect anyone else to believe it. Xiao Chen has a very peaceful mind. He knows very well that when these ordinary people encounter such supernatural things, their first reaction must be disbelief. Even Captain Xiao had an impatient look on his face. Although he didn't believe Xiao Qi and the others, everyone basically agreed that the sea monsters were real. Okay, little friend. Jonamel laughed for about a few seconds before he stopped smiling and pretended to be serious. My people are going to go into the water now to observe the activities of fish, hoping not to be eaten by sea monsters in one bite. Haha, ha, goodbye kid, we'll be back safely. Several other crew members in diving suits walked to the edge of the deck, and they all joked at Xiao Chen's group with half a smile. You'd better be careful, I'm serious. Xiao Chen knew that they wouldn't believe it, so he still raised his voice and reminded them kindly. It's a pity that the crew members responded perfunctorily and jumped into the lake one after another. What they did like this was undoubtedly an active provocation to the sea monster. 
Oops, if Big Steel Tooth is the case, you might not be able to rescue so many people at once. Xiao Chen counted the people who jumped just now, secretly screaming. These people are really dying. Tian Xiao Wen held his chin in his hand and looked at the lake with a worried expression. It doesn't matter, let's just wait. If the sea monster takes action, there will be movements. Xiao Chen answered, he was always ready. Gollum, Gollum. Just as Xiao Chen finished saying a sentence, the lake seemed to be fulfilled, and a long string of bubbles popped out. Gollum, Gollum. There were more and more blisters on the lake, and they kept gathering on the lake. Tian Xiaoban, Mark, and Tian Xiaowen were all vigilant, and even Yonamel's gang looked over there. Xiao Chen opened the Omnitrix screen again, and his palm was facing the protruding screen, when he was about to shoot down. Puff. Wow. It was a diver who emerged from the lake. He raised his palms to outline the shape of claws, opened his mouth and let out a loud cry, pretending to be a sea monster. Be careful. The sea monster is here. Tian Xiaowen and Tian Xiaoban were taken aback, they both took a step back and shouted at Xiao Chen. Call out. Xiao Chen's palm suddenly fell on the Omnitrix, and subconsciously wanted to press it down. Boom. Fortunately, when Mark saw this scene, he hurriedly raised his big hand and grabbed Xiao Chen's wrist, and pulled it up slightly to stop his behavior. Just a little. Xiao Chen transformed into an alien hero in front of everyone. At this time, everyone reacted. The diver hugged his stomach and laughed loudly. Ha 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 ha, your reaction is too funny, it really amused me. You don't really think I'm a sea monster, right? It's too funny. His unbridled ridicule made everyone in this boat, including Captain Xiao and Xiao Chen, very disgusted and unhappy. The people in Yonamel's boat also laughed, and they were all the same. Let's go, ignore them. Xiao Chen came to Captain Xiao's side and said impatiently. I agree with your opinion, my friend. Captain Xiao was also very angry, stepping on the accelerator viciously, and steering the ship in other directions. This joke is not funny at all. Tian Xiaoban was still indignant. Almost, Xiao Chen's identity was exposed. Look at the turning boat. The diver was still muttering in his heart. What a bunch of people who don't understand jokes. Are they from the country? They don't understand fun. Gollum Gollum. Countless bubbles appeared behind him, and it seemed like a whirlpool appeared under the water, making him unable to control his balance. Don't make trouble, who is playing? The diver pretended to be calm and turned to look cursing. Boom. Then, he saw a picture he would never forget. A large sea beast like a snake-toothed dragon emerged from the water, and the huge water wave directly lifted the diver's body. Leak. Roar. Its roar spread across the lake in an instant. Yes, it's a sea monster. Jonamel's line of sight suddenly broke into the body of the sea monster. At this moment, he felt his insignificance, and his whole body froze. The so-called members of the Animal Protection Association behind him also opened their eyes one by one, staring at the sea monster dumbfounded. Sea monster. It really came out. When people reacted, they all panicked and fled to the driver's seat in a hurry, and some went to the warehouse and didn't know what to get. The sea monster also swayed its tail towards Yonamel's boat, and patted the big yacht heavily. The yacht swayed directly, and many people fell into the sea along with the shaking. Captain Xiao's boat. At the moment when I heard the sea monster scream. Xiao Chen, Mark, Captain Xiao and others turned around and looked at Yonamel. The sea monster is here. Captain Xiao shouted as he looked at the sea monster in shock. On the contrary, Mark, Tian Xiaoban and the others were quite calm and they all looked at Xiao Chen and gave him a look. Xiao Chen nodded slightly, and while others were not paying attention, he turned over and jumped over the boat into the lake. At the same time, after the sea monster attacked the yacht, it set off a huge wave like a tsunami towards the boat, giving full play to his terrifying power. On this lake, not only Captain Xiao and Yonamel's boats, but also many small boats came over curiously because of the previous movement of the sea monster. The result is, Sad reminder. No, I can't transform into a big steel tooth. I'm not here just to fight. Xiao Chen floated on the water. He wanted to shoot it all at once, but he changed his mind. Many divers in Jonamel are still extremely dangerous on the lake. Xiao Wen and the others were also targeted. There are other tourists who are also being targeted. In this case, someone who can save lives is needed. 
Four-handed bully, no, it's purely a fight. The flames and the diamond god of war are even worse. Gliding King Kong. This is also not good, it is suitable for high altitude combat, this kind of place is not suitable for it. Xiao Chen turned the Omnitrix, and the outline of Glider King appeared on the screen, but after thinking for about half a second, he still twisted the screen and converted the alien hero again. The silhouette of the alien hero that appears this time. Yes. Flash star. Flash star. Xiao Chen murmured thoughtfully. Boom. Next second. His palm landed heavily on the Omnitrix's screen, not because he was paying tribute to the animation Xiaoban's behavior, but simply because the situation was urgent. There was a green glow on the lake. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.